If we start with the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, for a greater than 0 and complete the square to solve for x in terms of the constants a, b, and c, the result is a general formula for solving any quadratic equation. And yun yung tinatawag natin na quadratic formula. We're writing, we have a x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, if you follow the steps, yung mga nauna nating methods, kapag yung a natin is, or has a value, and merong coefficient yung x squared natin, pwede divide natin both sides by the a. So, dividing both sides by a, x squared natin is, x squared na lang kasi makakansal yan, and we have b over a x plus c over a equals 0. And ilipat natin nito, Considering this is a constant, x squared plus bax equals negative c over a. In this equation, gagamitan natin siya ng completing the square method. So, kukunin natin yung coefficient ng x which is b over a. b over a divided by 2 and then y square natin. So, this will be b square over 4a square. Ito ngayon yung i-add natin to the both sides of the equation para ma-complete yung square and magkaroon tayo ng perfect square trinomial as we can remember dun sa third method natin for solving the quadratic equations in one variable. So we have now x square plus b, uh, b over ax plus b square over 4a square equals negative c over a plus b square over 4a square. And this is a perfect square trinomial na. So, pag i-factor out natin yan, we have x plus b over 2a quantity square and this is negative c over a plus b square over 4a square. Let's simplify the right side of the equation. x plus b over 2a quantity square equals kuhani natin yung LCD nila. Ang LCD nila is 4a square. So this is 4a square. 4a square divided by a is 4a multiplied to c. We have negative 4ac. So again, 4a square divided by 4a square is 1 times positive b square is b square. x plus b over 2a quantity square equals, pagpalitin natin sila, b square minus 4ac over 4a square. Next is, kuhanin natin yung square ng magkabilang side as yung ginagawa natin sa completing the square method. So, square root nito and then square root ng right side para makancel to. So, we have x plus b over 2a equals the square root of b square minus 4ac over 4a square. And then, after nating makuha yung square root ng magkabilang side, gagamitin na natin yung square root property. So, this is x plus b over 2a equals positive or negative square root of b square minus 4ac over 4a square. If we can notice, yung 4a square natin is pwede, but pwede nating simplify by exactly taking the square root. So this is x plus b over 2a equals positive or negative. Ito is, siya na yan, we have square root of b square minus 4ac over, this is, square root ng 4 is 2, and square root ng a square is a. Lipat natin yung b over 2a since we are only solving for the value of x in terms of the variables a, b, and c. So this is x equals negative b over 2a, positive or negative the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Since pareho sila ng denominator, we can directly combine the terms. x 
is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So this is now yung tinatawag natin na quadratic formula where ang gagawin na lang natin is kukunin natin yung value ng a, value ng b, and the value of c. Is substitute na lang natin dito to solve for the two values ng x natin. We have, gagamitin natin of course is yung positive and yung negative sign na yan.